Hey guys, Kika Moni here with a recipe for you today. So today I am making ribs. I'm gonna take you through it from A to Z, um, all the way from how to get the silver skin off really easily, how to make the best rub ever, put the rub on, and then how I cook them. So what I like to do is cook them in the slow cooker, the crock pot, uh, first and then finish them on the grill or in the oven and uh, today is not a grill kind of day unfortunately because that's really the best but um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it so here we go okay so we're gonna start with the rub and we start with a half a cup each of white sugar and brown sugar we're also gonna add a half a cup of paprika and I like to use smoked paprika if you can find it if not regular is fine then we add six tablespoons of kosher salt. This is actually enough to make a double batch, just so you know. We're gonna also add two tablespoons each of black pepper and cayenne pepper. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of chili powder, and two tablespoons of garlic powder. Now you can cut all of this in half and make a smaller batch, but I really recommend the double batch it's delicious and you're gonna to wanna to try it on all sorts of other recipes, not just ribs. And uh, so you mix it all together until it looks really well, nice and combined, sort of just like this. Boom, right? I wish you could smell it, it's amazing. Then you're gonna add it to a container. I really like to use a leftover like Parmesan cheese container because one side you can scoop and one side you can sprinkle, very convenient. So I also like to prep my crock pot by putting uh, aluminum foil in first. It makes for a much easier cleanup. I do a similar thing with the countertop with aluminum foil and paper towels before I put the ribs out to keep everything nice and clean. So you wanna pat these dry and then get the silver skin off. So to do that, I cut one edge so just so I can get it started with the knife. And then once I can grab it, I grab it with the paper towel and pull it off. Huge time saver if you have never tried to do it this way. Sometimes it's a little work to get it started, but once you can grab onto it, just grab it with the paper towel and pull, and it pulls straight off, just like that. So then you wanna pat them really nice and dry again and add on the rub. Make sure you get it on all the sides, front, back, edges, and rub it in really nicely with your hands. You can also do this the day before and then keep it in the fridge overnight with the rub on. That really adds great flavor as well. Gives it a chance to soak into the meat. If not, just like this is fine. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't fit two full racks into my slow cooker. So I went one and a half each in the slow cooker and in the Instant Pot. And I'm putting them on four hours on high. You can also do it eight hours on low. They both come out fine, but I actually prefer the high setting. And you can see here in the Instapot, I have it on slow cook setting for four hours as well. Now here's how they look about halfway through, starting to render down, smelling great. And I didn't mention this, but I like to put the meatier side of the ribs up and the meat side against the edge of the crock pot. Here they are, three quarters done, one hour to go, smelling great, fat rendering, pulling away from the sides, looking nice and tender. Okay guys, well the um, crock pot and the Instapot both just finished. They went in there for four hours on high and they should be fall off the bone tender when I take them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out now and give you a peek and, uh, and then we'll go from there. One more step after that, adding the barbecue sauce and finishing them off under the broiler, but um, I think you're gonna be amazed at how tender they look when I take them out of the crock pot and instant pot, hopefully. Hopefully it comes out the same from both. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Let's take them out and see if we can, uh, see if we can get them out in one piece. Oh my gosh, look at that, right? Can you see it, how much they are just falling apart here? See if we can get the big rack out in one piece. Oh my gosh. Oh, woo, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Now that is fall off the bone tender right there. The bone just came out. I mean, look at this. The bone just fell out, literally. Like you can't get more fall off the bone tender than that. That's amazing. Look at that. Isn't that just a thing of beauty right there? Now again, these just have the rub on them, no sauce yet, but we're gonna sauce them right up in just a minute. Now let's check out the ones that come out of the crock pot, or not the crock pot, excuse me, the Instant Pot, and see if they look any different. This is the first time I've ever used the Instant Pot as on the crock pot setting, so I'm pretty excited about this, actually. And let's go ahead and peek inside of there. It looks about like the crock pot, right? They stayed against the edges just like I was hoping they would. Rendered a lot of fat. Let's see if they have that same fall off the bone texture. Oops. As the crock pot. Let's see. Oh, you know, they just don't look quite as tender. The other one I was not able to get out whole. So that's kind of a bummer. And maybe part of it is, um, I mean, I've never used, I should say I usually, yeah, they're not quite as tender. Look at that. The other one was just totally falling apart and the ones that are done in the Instapot are not. It still looks, ew. That's pretty gross. It still looks very, very tender, but not um, not the same as the ones from the crock pot. So that's a bummer. I had three racks and they just weren't gonna fit. So I took a gamble on this and I'm a little disappointed in these ones. I'll show you in just a moment the difference between the two. Okay. So I'm just gonna like push this back and out of the way. Turn that off. Okay, so you can see here, oh you know what, maybe I will use it as a little. Okay, so here you can see the difference, right? These, is that totally in? So these ribs here are, um, they look very tender, but they're not like falling apart. See how I can even turn it like that? And it's like chewy. These ones came out of the same pot. Now these ones here, ooh, so hot, came out of the crock pot. You can see the bone is just literally falling off. Like if I went to turn it, they would just come apart. No problem. That just goes to show you that even on the crock pot setting, the Instapot does not work the same way. Look at this, it just falls apart. And I don't wanna do this too much. I wanna try and keep them together as much as I can because I'm going to, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm going to sauce them up and finish them in the oven, but I'm gonna just go ahead and sneak a taste right now. Oh my God. Even just with the rub. Look at that. Mm. Man. I wish everybody could taste that right now. Anyway, the sauce is really going to finish this up, right? So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So here is a sneak peek at these before they go into the oven to get a little char on them. Look at that, right? Looks amazing. Again, there's just loose bones because they are fall off the bone tender. At least the ones that came out of the crock pot are. Uh, I'm sure the other ones will be just as tasty, but nowhere near as tender. But uh, there they are sauced up and I'm gonna pop them in the oven right now under the broiler for just a few minutes or like I said, on the grill is even better. But uh, today we're just gonna throw them under the broiler and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right, and here they are straight out of the oven nice and sticky and sauced up. And now we're gonna give them a taste. Hey 
Hey guys, uh, Kika Moni here back with my own food review today. Um, so I made ribs as I showed you kind of step by step there. And then as I was putting them on the plate, I noticed that the ones that came out of the real crock pot, like I said, are just so much more tender than the ones that came out of the instant pot. It's interesting to me because it was on the crock pot setting. So I really expected them to come out the same, but they did not. So we're going to go ahead and give them a taste and see how comparable it is. So I'm gonna show you here on the plate. Just gonna dive in. These are the ones that came out of the crock pot. These are the ones that came out of the instant pot. And I actually had to cut them apart. And I have never had to do that before with my ribs when they come out of the crock pot alone. They just fall apart. Like you try and lift them up and the bones come out. So, these are baby back ribs though, and they're a little bit thicker and meatier than St. Louis style ribs, and that's usually what I make, so that probably factors in too. But here I'm going to show you the difference, right? So here is the crock pot rib, and they just, you want to, oh, you want to separate it? Oh my gosh, no need for a knife here. Look at that. They just fall apart, and that is what I'm used to. That's what you can expect from cooking your ribs this way, is having them super tender every time. Oh my God, it's just so good. The rub gives such great flavor to the ribs. And then of course you can use whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is to go on the top. <clears throat> and then I have a little bit of macaroni salad here and I didn't share the, re the recipe for this, but if anyone's interested, shoot a note in the comments, I'd be happy to. Mm. This rounds it out so well. Okay, so. Here goes, this is the other kind, the kind that was made in the Instant Pot, on crock pot setting mind you, not Instant Pot. I've done that before and it's pretty good. If you're in a pinch, you can make ribs super quick, like half an hour. Check it out. Right, still pretty tender, but it's like there's gonna be some chew to it. It's not just gonna fall apart like the other one. Case in point. When I usually make ribs, there's no way you could bite into it like that and have it all not just fall apart. I left a bite mark. Now, having said that, they're still delicious. Super tender, but um, I'm used to it more tender. They're juicy, they're delicious. You can taste the sweet heat from that rub. It's just so amazing. And then um, the barbecue sauce is great. It's good, it's very good. But I'm just a little sad that it didn't come out as tender as the crock pot. But um, if anyone's interested in more recipes like this, I'm also gonna uh, post one when I do the St. Louis style ribs because that's the consistency that I'm used to. I don't usually make baby back ribs, but they just happen to be on sale at the store. And I know most people say they actually prefer them. So I just went ahead and went for it this time. And I am amazed at the amount of meat that's on there. That's a lot of meat. And it's fairly lean um, too. So maybe that has something to do with it. But um, oh my gosh. Mm. They're just so delicious. Love ribs. Love how tender they are. And the flavor is just so big and bold. And um, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so never a better time to have game day food, right? So uh, anyway, I hope somebody tries my recipe out there. If you already make them this way in the crock pot, um, tell me what you like to put on yours or if you have any similar uh, recipes you want to share, I'm all ears. Or if there's anything else you'd like to see me make, please let me know. I love to cook. I do it all the time. So um, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.